Okay, because weekends and Saturdays really are for weddings, we decided to put you in that lovey-dovey mood. And that's a music video by two of my favorite people, Evel Music, and of course, um, the one and only actor, singer, comedian, and recently now, of course, he's an artist and he's put out this music video. His name is Emmanuel Edunjobi, but we all know him as Ima OMG. Hello, it's good to have you. Thank you very much. I'm shy. Yeah, shy. I was going to ask, are you shy? <laughs> I'm a very shy guy, but yeah. Yeah, okay, we know, we know, we know. We know. <laughs> so, Ima, that's first of all a very crisp video. Fantastic. Everybody yeah, knows you. When they think of you, they think of Ima the comedian, Ima the, you know, you make skits, the content creator, producer. In fact, like 80% of the jingles we've heard in Lagos, I must, <laughs> once I tune into a radio station, I must hear Ima, my God's voice. But you've decided to explore a career in music. Yeah. You started out doing like your Instagram videos. Yeah. So, now is this a full on breakout going into the music scene thing? I actually started out doing music though, you know, those days when I used to work here. Before The first thing that broke out on Instagram was that David thingy. But before then, I'd done um, Love One Thing. I'd been doing music since, but the music side did not really pick up, you know. So it was the comedy side I picked up. And since comedy was working, that was when I said, okay, let's face comedy. And I, did, um, I, I started doing music comedy because I still love music. But music is basically my first love. It's the thing I started doing first, you know. I, from like age of six, seven, I was playing the flute, the, all those stuff, you know. So I am still trying. I'm still putting my leg. Because now, if I was still a single man, then I can put all. Like, I can sell my car, sell my jugget. But I'm married. I have to be calculated. You know, I have responsibilities. So I'm just putting my leg in the water. So, okay, let's try this. Right now, I have, like, a bit more funds at my disposal like, than I used to have before. But nobody say I really get money like that, you get. <laughs> but I'm still trying, though. I'm still trying. I know I'm good with it. A lot of people say, oh, you are. But it's not about just being good. There's a business side to it, to it you know. Exactly. There's spending money to produce, to shoot the video, then the promotion. So that promotion is usually the problem. I will come yes. to talk about this married <laughs> side. Let's go talk about you as Imad the singer, Imad the musician. Yeah. I know that you're a producer as well. And from your, you do a collection. Every Sunday, I'm expecting to see yeah. an Imad my God him on yeah, Instagram. Yeah. Let's talk about the instruments in, that you play. Mm -hmm. And then what is the work? Lead us through your creative process. Okay, um, it's the instruments I play, uh, I build a relationship with an instrument once I, I'm in love with the instrument. The first ever instrument I played was the recorder. It wasn't the original. A friend made a recorder out of a pipe and wood, you know. I think I was six or seven. Back then, when I got back home, I didn't used to go out. Not because they locked me at home, but I didn't used to like to go to play ball or anything. So is it that I'm at the balcony playing something or watching something or doing my assignment, you get? So I spent all my time. And then... My mom gave out our garage to a church. So they had, so when they close, I'll go check out their instruments. So every instrument I did my hands on, I could play. So from the recorder to the mouth organ, to the piano, to the guitar, to the drums. Were you self-taught or did you? I self-taught everything. Wow. To the talking drum. Recently, I still, I bought the talking drum. I bought the accordion. I was self-taught on those. So my next two targets are the saxophone and I the was violin. going to say saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> and what? And the violin. And you're yeah. going to teach yourself as well. Yeah, but I don't have as much time as I used to have before. So probably I'll do, and thank God for YouTube, so I can just go and check out some tutorials on YouTube. And I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that. I find that a lot of people, people undermine the opportunities, the amazing opportunities that are bound on YouTube. Maybe you should explain to us how the internet in general has helped your career path. As in, right now, everything I do, I do myself. I, 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 okay, except when I want to do like something huge, like the video I just shot. Something huge, like the video I just shot, I give it like, it was Abula that shot this. But all those kids you see, they are very high quality videos produced by myself. I produced, I produced the audio to the video and everything. And every single thing I do, I go online. There's nothing you want to do, right? It's as crazy as I think, if you are serious about it, you can actually earn a master's degree online. You get like, okay, I just bought a new software. I used to, when I was in Wazobi, I used to use Adobe Audition. You know, I used to play with that in school. That was a um, audio editing software but it was better for sound production in radio. So I used to use that to make music, but the quality was not as much as I loved it to be, but a lot of, a lot of people used to say it was good. Then I, I went to buy Mac, then I bought Pro Tools. I had no idea about Pro Tools whatsoever, but I went on YouTube to go and check, you know, and I, I self-taught myself. Now, it's as crazy as, okay, if I want to shoot a video, maybe there was one I did. I wanted to jump from my chair into a glass cup, <laughs> and I did it, but I just went on YouTube. And you can just search according to what is in your head, in your mind. So when a lot of people come to me, I want you to mentor me, or I want you to be your boy, I want to be your studio rat. I'm like, you don't need to take yourself that low. Let me just give, take you to the stream and you catch the fish yourself. Mm. Just go online, you know. 
everything. Like, Amazing opportunities abound online. Yeah. The thing is, would you be disciplined enough to sit down in front of the internet, sit down in front of your screen and learn? In my, oh my God does everything that he does right now from the knowledge that he gains on the internet. Let's talk about, you know, how marriage mm. has been, how marital life has impacted your career. I, I just thank God for my wife, man. Like, that's, that's like the best person I could have ever thought of marrying because uh, my... Oh. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> like, you know, there's, there's this saying about, okay, when you get married, things change. Yeah, things change for me. Things just change positively, you get. She just, she came and became like a blessing, an addition to me. So, these ones I'm saying that I can't do things the way I used to do before, it's just because of the sense of responsibility. Like, okay, I have to create time for my daughter and everything, but my wife did not add any stress to me. She's also a creative herself. She was a presenter on TV. We resigned around the same time. We're working from home. She, she's just like the female version of me. She gets me, you get, so it's amazing. And I've been a blessed man since I got married. They, they say this thing, like, once you get married, there are more blessings that are coming and everything. So I really, really thank God. But the only thing, Shai, is from my own perspective, before, that's why you don't see a lot of skills on, from me on, um, on social media, because everything I do is calculated. I, like, I, my time is really money right now. Back then, when something happens, for example, when Dino Milaye did that, people were still like, what's wrong with this guy? Four hours later, before You've people recover, do you understand? That, yes. So then, once I saw something, I wake up in the midnight, you know, all those, back then, that was when I used to do Sunday, Sunday. Now, I don't do it that often. Maybe I do two times and everything. It depends on what time I have. But it's because, you know, she doesn't worry me. She doesn't stress me. But I'm like, with this kind of support and love this woman is giving me, I can only just respond back and also be supportive. So we both, we both work from home. We thank her for that opportunity. So our daughter has us in full. You get, but I don't really want her to be like, or is a woman's place to face your daughter yourself? I also want to be there. You know, I want to, I want to play a part in their lives and everything. You know, so that's why family has really taken a lot of my time. Self decision, like is it self decision? It wasn't imposed. It wasn't imposed by my wife. You get it. And it's, it's, something, it's something I don't regret. You and know, your daughter seems to really take a liking to the camera. She's, she's yeah. always ready. I saw the, the, you know, the commercial and you did a while ago with the little, beautiful, gorgeous daughter that you have. And, and it's so amazing that she knows me. She knows my voice already. When she hears my song, anyway, she starts vibrating and everything. You know, and that commercial I did, if you watch till the end, it was just that day I composed the song. That was the first time she was hearing the song. And she repeated the last line after me. If you watch the end, yes, like, I watched Daddy's it. gonna clean it up. Yeah. Like, she already has... A relative pitch she can sing on the key you are singing on most of the songs i sing on sunday i'll play them in the cars uh, in the car when we are driving i don't know say she did morning we'll be singing praise and what she has sang oluwa she goes oluwa wa. although she doesn't speak it out but you can hear the vowels and the tunes you know she catches up on a lot of things and i just thank god for the kind of people we are i thank god because there are no, really no bad habits you know because the way she grasps things, you won't know until it comes later. You know. And that, that's a that's a point out of the fact that we as adults need to be careful what we do in presence of our children because ch children are like magnets; they replicate exactly crazy, what crazy. the energy you give to them. And most times, it's the things you think you are hiding, things you think you are doing coded. Those are the ones they grab. Mm -hmm. Now, there's something me and my wife always tell ourselves like, a shema, a shigoma, a shit. We just is the way our parents used to talk them. But right now, right now, my daughter will just look at you, be like, a shit. As in, I'm like, where did you get that from? <laughs> she she's, picked it from and you, and, barely two years. you and her mom. Now, you and your wife do a joint vlog together. Yeah. Tell us about what happens. Decides that we don't get to see and tell us about it. It's, thank you to everybody that subscribed to our page. That's been, it's, it, the growth has been amazing. You know, we did a video together on our page a couple of times. Okay, our second year anniversary, I did a video on my page and we did on our page. And the response, people were like, ah, we want to see more of this. I was just like, ah, babe, let's just open a YouTube channel. But the stress was like, ah, we start from the onset before we get monetized and everything. But all that that was supposed to take like maybe three months, it, we did it in like two weeks because of the response we got from people and everything. But basically, what you see there is just like a fraction of the way we are. We don't pretend. We react, we interact the way we interact normally. Sometimes, there's even, there have been times that we just finish fighting. We're fighting, we're like, okay, we have to shoot this video. Are, we, are you still fighting? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. Uh, you guess, like, that's why I just really thank God about it. Like, I thank God for her because, um, I don't have any reason to be proud. I just, like, I don't have, you know, there are some, be, most, most of the time when there's a misunderstanding with your spouse is because they don't give you their all, you get. So you are scared to give your all. You don't know how it will get back to you. You don't know if they will take you for granted. But there's no taking for granted. Like, 
when we fight, sometimes I'm like, okay, babe, don't chill. I want to be angry. Chill, we'll come back. We'll talk about it later. And we, we, said, we sort out ourselves. When she's supposed to apologize, she apologizes. When I'm supposed to, I apologize. You get. I'm actually putting you on the spot. I must have you and your wife on this show, <laughs> a joint interview with yeah, the definitely, OMGs. Definitely, when she's back. When I look forward back. to that. Yeah, no okay, so now let's talk about you are, you are a vlogger, your wife is a vlogger, and together you are vloggers. What tips would you give to people who are aspiring vloggers, someone who wants to start out? Uh, vlog about things you like generally. Things like there's no how everybody, there's something you like that. You can you can talk about for a whole week, you know, something that will bring your natural self. You know, back then maybe you used to walk to fake, but now people really don't like fake cars. If I can put it that way, like people, people just want to relate to your realness, your real size and everything you get. And try and go for the best. You can start with what you have over time, but then when you start earning money, try and buy like equipment like Keep, don't, don't stay in one spot. Keep improving, you know. It will show your subscribers and viewers that, okay, you are actually making an effort to bring the best to them and everything. But the major thing is find something that you are really natural at, something that you don't really need to rack your brain before yeah, you know, bring eating. content. Eating. eating. But do you know people make a lot of money by in just fact, going Ima, online eating? I can't wait. That um, African food challenge. If, apart from that, just, I think they got it from the international whatever. In because fact, after this, Ima, I'm glad that we're going to eat. And we're going to have a proper film conversation. And everything. I'll, you know, I'll give my, you wife, my wife loves watching it. You see videos of people eating on YouTube, 15 million views. <laughs> My, my wife say, my wife actually sits down to watch. She said, there's really something about this. Oh, see, see the food. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I'm wasting all my eating. And this African food challenge, because you, you are a fine girl normally, you get. <laughs> and there are ways, for example, eat amala. There's a way you eat it with, with your hands, you know. Mm. We'll talk about it. So I, since I, I've been exploring the idea of food vlogging, but I think we're, we're, making, we're onto something here. Let's talk about your video, your song, Oh Baby. Yeah. Why did you choose to feature Evel? Yeah, basically, the, before now, the idea was anything that had a love interest, but this video is going to be my wife, you get. But this one, it was the girl that was singing. I thought of, I thought of, different, I thought of different ideas like, um, um, okay, maybe we look for another guy and another lady, then if it will be somewhere singing, I'll be, but I'm like, that's too so stressful. And <laughs> we just really wanted to do this and get it over with, you know. So I was just like, it's just right. She's the one singing and I'm singing. So yeah, let's act this. And there's really nothing acting, there's nothing bad about acting um, a love interest scene with another person. So far, you guys are not immoral. If you watch the video, there was really no touching. Because most people times- People that are doing it, nobody is raising eyebrow. In fact, there are some names I want to call right now, but let me respect my- You know, but it's everybody, <laughs> different strokes, different folks, exactly. you know, like- I, I won't be comfortable seeing my wife kissing another man on TV, so I will not do that to, to her, you understand, you get. So we get ourselves in that way. This one, the street, script said she wrote it for me. Um, she didn't write it for me, but we thought about it together. There were some things we even wanted to add to it, like, okay, maybe at the end of the day, after we finish singing, she will now come and carry me. Oh, yeah, let's go. Then if your boyfriend will come and carry her. Oh, yeah, let's go. You people have finished, but Aww. we're like, that's too stressful and everything, <laughs> you know. But basically, you could see we were acting... Even all the parts that it looked like, ah, these people are in love. I was just telling her things to crack her up. She was just really laughing. I would be like, this one, I would just chop, I would bite your nose now. She would just laugh. They, they would put it in <laughs> slow motion. It would look like, ah, these guys are in love. They have chemistry. No, but you, you both know. did an amazing job. And I really yeah. like the quality of the video. It's very crisp. Yeah. And Evel is a talent. So having both That's of you together on a video yeah. is a jam. It's a whole vibe. I can't wait for us to play the full video. We're going to be wrapping up this conversation tonight by playing you the full video of Oh Baby by Ima. Oh, my God. But what are the prospects of your career in music? Where do you see your music career going to? Uh, the, the, the major thing I see my music career doing, whether it blows or not, I know it's going to blow by God's grace, but it's to impact people's lives, you know, like, to be, to be like, to make me a household name more than I am right now. For example, Oh Baby, I, I, I did that because I wanted it to be the number one song for weddings. Like, when the husband wants to dance with the wife, that's yeah. the song you sing to and everything. So different, I, I, the gospel songs I do too, like all the Yoruba songs, it brings people back. People that are outside Nigeria, they remember when they were children. People message me like, oh, bless you. Old people listen to it and they are like, oh, you know, I, all the hymns, you know, they just like, they make you happy. They make you want to do better. They make you, you know, they make you see life from a different perspective. They remove stress from you and everything. So I, my, the number one thing about my music is, impacting people positively, you know, and they just think about me and they just 
God bless you. you know. Okay, since tomorrow is Saturday and Saturdays are for weddings, you might want to start to watch this video. That will get you in your feelings and, you know, you probably reach out to your, your better half and send them some, some very lo sweet love message because of the way that video will put you in the mood. But thank you for joining us, Emma. Thanks for having me. There's so much more to you and I can't wait for your wife to be back yeah. so we can have a, a session with the OMGs. The, so how can be, people keep up with you and all the work that you do on social media? Uh, follow me everywhere at Imam My God, E M M A O H M A G O D. Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. All Facebook, right, yes. and your your vlogs as well. Okay, yeah, D O M G S. We have a page. That's me. If you want to follow me and my wife, D O M G S T H E O H E M G E E S. We're going to bring them. They'll be joining us <laughs> in a moment. But this is where we wrap up the show. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.